What's going on everybody, it's Afraid Not, and I'm bringing you this little series that I'm putting together. Um, I know not a lot of you are Battlefield 4 fans, but I'm going to be playing through um, and using some of the weapons in the game, and I'm going to be reviewing them, just so if you, I know a lot of people with the Xbox One, they got Battlefield 4 with it, and uh, maybe a bit unsure on what guns to use and how you use them, so I'm going to go through them and just share some of my experiences that I've had with them with you guys. So basically, I'll be using the gun and I'll use the gameplays, Not I won't be using full gameplays, it's just going to be clips of some of the nice clips that I got with it but today I'll be covering the AK-12 now the AK-12 is the first gun that you'll get if you use the assault loadout so you're gonna use this gun without a doubt and um, I find that the best way to use this gun is using it for mid-range now long range um, it is very weak I have to admit the recall is quite a lot you can really notice it when you're at long distance engagements the AK-12 at range you're gonna have to set the gun to semi-auto which you put down on the d-pad and you set the gun into semi-auto and that is definitely the best way to take care of people at range although it's still not the best gun it's actually a low damage gun it's got a high rate of fire of 680. If you are unfamiliar on what that means, it means it shoots 680 rounds per minute if you left it on full auto. The AK-12 has three fire modes, it has fully automatic, semi-automatic and burst fire and in each clip it has 30 rounds so that's very good when you come to uh, some of the guns on this game with some of them have much less so it's a good size clip. I said early in the video that it is best used at mid-range so hit firing this gun isn't the best thing you can really do with it although when you come up really close with someone I know sometimes you can't help it but this isn't where this gun is really at its best is um, so it's definitely mid-range definitely aim down sight let's talk attachments now there are plenty and plenty of attachments to use with this gun there's about I don't know five different grips now the grip that I was most successful with was the angled grip I found that that was the best grip that I used and I'll probably end up repeating myself quite a lot through um, this little series of mine because the angled grip for me has worked excellent on every single gun that I've used so far. Now the game modes that I would recommend using this gun for would be Domination and um, Team Deathmatch. I wouldn't go into Conquest or Obliteration with this gun just yet purely because of the size of the maps. The maps are huge on this game as you, obviously you come to expect. So yeah, stick to TDM and Domination when you're using this gun. And I think in this next clip you'll see me semi-automatic this guy. Yeah, in this clip I've semi-automatic this guy. It takes a few bullets, but you can drop them. <laughs> But yeah, in all, I've been having a lot of fun with this gun. This isn't the gun that I would go to when I start playing Battlefield 4. This isn't the one that I would put on if uh, I would come up against a good team. I think, right, I need to use a really good weapon. And I burst fire this guy. If you can see at the bottom there, it shows that the burst fire is active. And I burst fire two guys there. <laughs> but yeah, this isn't the gun that I would go to automatically to really do well in the game. Um, I'll cover which one I think I will probably in the next video. Because Anyway, the next attachment I would use is definitely a red dot sight. Although in this clip you can see the uh, the iron sights, and I think the iron sights are actually quite good on it, but you can, it's not like a Call of Duty where you have to lose something to gain an attachment or anything like that, so it's definitely worth putting a red dot sight. I've been doing that pretty much on all of the guns, putting a red dot sight on there. Um, I wouldn't do any of the extra zoom in ones like the ACOG scopes or anything. I Especially not on the game modes I'm playing at the moment. I'm playing a lot of TDM and Domination, as I said earlier, and um, yeah. Another attachment that I'd recommend is the Muzzle Brake. The Muzzle Brake is a attachment which improves stability and reduces the muzzle climb, so that is a very good attachment to go with as well. You could also go with a Heavy Barrel, which will improve aimed fire accuracy. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a rating. I'll be bringing out the next one this week, and um, yeah, if you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.